Welcome into a brand new scary game just came out today called Sleep Paralysis the Uncanny Valley. If you don't know what sleep paralysis is, that's when like you wake up and you're out of, like out of your sleep and you can't move, but you're like conscious and bad things happen. It's very rare, but it's terrifying. And this game looks terrifying. I'm excited to give it a shot. If you like this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and uh, check out the Scary Games playlist. Got a ton of scary game content just like this, just waiting for you. Waiting for you to consume. Yeah. And uh, drop a Twitch follow where I'm live six days a week. Links for everything in the description of the video. Let's get started. A new game. What could go wrong? Achievement unlocked. The journey begins. Hey, we're already winning. Uh, disclaimer, this game may potentially trigger seizures for people with uh, photosensitive. If you have epilepsy, you're screwed. Uh, I didn't read the rest of it. Okay, if, if that's one significant, that person's screwed. I don't know what's going on. The story about my sleep paralysis. August 2018. My name is Thomas. Hi. This will be the story about what happened to me over the last few days. Have you ever wondered what would happen when bad decisions make you lose your mind. It turns out this is happening to me. If someone were to read this, they would probably think I'm crazy. Maybe I am. Hi, Sierra. Hi, I'm not even sure where to start, and I certainly don't know how Hi, I'm gonna explain this to my wife, Zoe. Uh, but let's thank start you. where it all began. Three days ago, after a long day at work, Chapter 1, Unexpected Event. What could go wrong? Here we go. 16 August, 56 hours until the decisive event. Uh-oh. It was an exhausting day at work. I just came back from the town. The town is only a 15-minute drive from here. Okay. Anyway, apart from this, it appeared to be an ordinary evening. Zoe and I bought this house about a year ago. I love this house. Might wonder, why this place? Why so far from everything? This is exactly where I want to live. Well, let's just say because both of us wanted to get away from it all. The city, the noise. I would love this. Just a quiet place Bro. for ourselves. I would love a house in the middle of nowhere. As long as I got internet, electricity, good to go. Honey, I'm home. It's really quiet in here. Examine painting. Last of the buffaloes. That's what Zoe called this picture. The slow decline of the buffaloes in North America. Wow. That's deep and dark. Hello? Prepare food. Is this an objective? Do we have to? How do we prepare food? Pressing E. What food though? What food must we must we prepare? Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome, child. I love this. Did I leave food in my car? Did I just get it from the grocery store or something? We have a glow stick. We have a lighter. Camera. Okay, we have a diary. How do we... Okay, photo album. Glow stick. Oh, light wasn't even on. Now we're on. Use computer. Okay, let's go. Diary contains your objectives, Ted. I can't read. Are we in? How long does this take to boot? Bro? Alright, let's, let's read the diary. 
The diary always can change your current objective. So let's, um, how do I look in there? Maybe there's nothing in there yet. Wait, what? I already have my diary. What is this? I'm confused. Examine bedside table. Are we saved? Can save your game by... Okay, so click the box to save the game. We got it. We got it. It's on the right side. Uh, so I guess the objective is I wanted to make... F okay, I see. So we don't have to actually physically open it, I say. We gotta make food. But where do we gotta... Tried to open the fridge, bro! Examine shelf, what's this? We always have spare bottles of wine, just in case. I dig it. I dig it. Click things. No? Uh, where's the food, bro? Maybe it's out in the car. That wine would last you three days. Did I bring... Is that a person or a freaking exotic bird? Sounds like it's whistling. Drive to town. Do you have to go get food from town? We need to go to town right now, okay. What's in here? Bathroom. Nothing to do. Sit down. There we go. Okay, we can only do that once. Press E to prepare food and the wall doesn't work now. No, it's spamming it. I think we have to have food to prepare. I'm clicking something here. Oh, oh my god. That's so weird. I had to look down and do it. That's so bizarre. Okay. After eating, I wanted to watch TV or work on the computer. Some decisions will have an impact on your playthrough and will influence the story. Ooh, what should we do, chat? Should we watch TV or should we uh, work on the computer? What does chat want to do? Watch TV, be lazy, or work? TV, computer, TV, TV, lazy. <laughs> Yo, chat, you're all are lazy as anything. Is this it? Is this it? Look at Zoe that. had gone on Wait, holidays what? a few days prior to that evening. That's why I was alone. Zoe and I usually go on holiday together. But this time it didn't work out. Because Zoe went to Hawaii. It's been one of her dreams for a long time. Why didn't I go with her? The simple answer. I'm an anxious flyer. I've hated airplanes since that one flight. After that flight, I swore I would never fly again in my lifetime. Keep this in mind, because I'll come back to this. 
I'm happy I was able to convince her to go, even without me. That way she could experience it at least once. Diary updated. Tab to check. Okay. Wait, what? After killing some time, I decided to take a shower and get in bed. Should probably shut the door, huh? Where's the bathroom? Is there a bathroom upstairs? Okay, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Bedtime. Oh boy. Oh no. This is where it gets wild. 100%. Sleep paralysis. We're not waking up, are we? Oh no, chat. Oh no. I'm sleeping. Hello? I can't do anything. I knew that was coming and it still got me. I knew that. I knew that was coming. The thing was wife shaped. 72%? 70%? Wait. What do we do? Let what? me tell you something that makes this sleep paralysis even worse. I know this woman I just saw. No, it wasn't Zoe. It was Alice, albeit a distorted and demonic version of her. Who is Alice? Well, you could say we've had a history together. Two long years. I mentioned demonic Alice, but that's probably how you would view her too. If you saw her for what she really was. It's strange, because I've avoided thinking about her over the years, and now here she was again. The sleep paralysis would play an important role very soon, not that I knew it at the time. I decided to go to sleep again. I had to be fit for work the next day. Game saved. All right, let's go back to sleep. What could go wrong this time? Okay, we're good. Made it. Time to get up and go to work. My car is downstairs. Not even getting ready. Don't even get dressed. Where's my car? Where's my car? There it is. Panda, how you doing? Good to see you. It was an uneventful day at work, except I couldn't stop thinking about what happened the night before. It was pretty creepy. At work, I talked to my colleague Jack about last night. He told me he has heard about this phenomenon. He said it's called sleep paralysis. It's a state where you cannot move because your mind thinks you're asleep when you're not actually asleep. I decided to research what happened to me after I got home. 
Maybe there was more information on the internet on how to prevent it. So we look at our computer probably. That day, I already had dinner in town and decided to do research as soon as I got home. I wanted to understand, understand what happened. Investigations chapter two. 30 hours into, uh, until the decisive event. All right, chapter two, where, where are we going? I decided to research what happened to me. Maybe there was more information on the internet. All right, let's go to the computer. We leave doors open in this house. Or we're being stalked by crazy demons. Oh, we have to read? Everything- this is everything about sleep paralysis? There's not much out there, is there? Is a state in which a person is aware but unable to move or speak. During this, the person might start hallucinating. Which means hearing, feeling, seeing things that are not there. This often catches the affected person off guard and feels very real. The state can be very terrifying for the affected person. Why does a sleep paralysis occur? There are many different reasons why sleep paralysis might occur. The following symptoms have often been simultaneously described to accompany a sleep paralysis. Lack of sleep. Anxious or fearful uh, personality. Mental conditions. How can a sleep paralysis be treated? Most people don't need treatment for sleep paralysis. It only occurs very rarely and there's nothing to worry about. However, treating the underlying conditions such as getting better sleeping habits can help in preventing sleep paralysis in the future. However, if you find yourself in a state of sleep paralysis, there are reports of people being able to get rid of the hallucinations by closing their eyes. I had none of the described underlying conditions. I usually sleep well and enough. I don't use any drugs or similar substitutes. Anxious and fearful, maybe. But I don't have any mental conditions that I knew of. Maybe I was just unlucky. I was glad to have found some practical advice. Now, I just had to remember to close my eyes oh, no. if I have a sleep paralysis oh, no. again. What could go wrong? So relax on TV. Do you want to watch TV again or, or go on the computer? Should we try the computer this time or should we? Because last time we had sleep paralysis, we watched TV. Maybe we should try the computer. Relax on the computer though. That's suspicious. What, what could that mean? Work on the website. Or search for measures against sleep paralysis. Hmm. Should we work? Let's work on the website. Take our mind off it. Let's take our mind off things. TikTok Live, how we doing over there? Good to see y'all. Welcome back. After killing some time, I wanted to take a shower and go to bed. Get that shower in. And let's get that sleep in. Fix star, hello. Good to see you, girl. Alright, going back to sleep. Remember to shut our eyes this time, chat, because well. Rip. Oh, bro. Bro. What the hell? Stop it! This is sleep paralysis, fam. We are having- we are paralyzed in our sleep- Oh my god. No. No. Don't do that! Oh my god, this, this would be so freaky if I legit couldn't move. We gotta close our eyes uh, during sleep paralysis to solve the problem. Here we go, eyes closed. Hey, it worked. Freaking worked. 
it worked. I vividly recall those dolls from my youth. They were from the most disturbing movie I had seen. I never thought I would be confronted with them again, not even in my wildest dreams. Don't forget this fact, because it's gonna become important very soon. At the time though, I was just happy that closing my eyes worked. It got rid of everything. Yes it did. Yes it did. Alright, what's the diary say? Had to sleep again, let's sleep. Game saved, let's sleep. Let's see if it goes peacefully this time. Ah, we're good. We're good. Made it through the night. All right, time to get up and go to work. My car is downstairs. Oh, let's go the wrong way. I told Jack about last night again. After I told him, he became visibly tense. I didn't make much of it at the time. Maybe he knew more than he told me. Maybe he knew what would happen next. After work, we went to a restaurant and then had drinks at a bar afterwards. That's why I came home later than usual. I decided to research how to make the hallucinations disappear. Maybe there were ways to prevent it altogether. Glow stick. Chapter three, mistakes. Okay. Four hours until decisive event. Uh oh. Yo, it's dark? Oh no, okay. It's kind of dark. I decided to research more deeply what happened to me. Maybe other people have exp have experienced similar things. There are ways to prevent it completely. Let's go. Let's go research. Um, wait, what was I supposed to do? Yes, this one. Insights from 12 cases of sleep paralysis. Uh, about the findings, the data for the following passages was gathered from a psychiatric clinic in Vancouver, Canada. The cases were gathered from around the world and documented on April the 15th in 1948. All patients were being treated for an array of mental problems. What happened to the patients? At the beginning of the psychotherapy, all patients were of healthy mental state. Apart from minor everyday issues, the patients were not in treatment specifically for sleep paralysis, but for other psychological disorders that they were facing. However, at some point in therapy, all but one of the patients had developed a major form of psychosis, hearing or seeing things that aren't there. What caused the psychosis? Since sleep paralysis was still not a phenomenon at the time, it, pro it proved difficult for individual psychologists to pinpoint the cause of the psychosis. After gathering all the cases, the clinic in Vancouver found clues as to why the patients had developed psychosis. Accordingly, the recommendation was uh, very clear. Do not, under any circumstances, close your eyes during an episode of sleep paralysis. All the patients that had done so had developed a psychosis shortly afterwards. Only one patient was the exception. Her name was Jane. Um. Why did one patient not develop a psychosis? The name of the patient that remained healthy and could even stop therapy altogether was Jane. Unfortunately, the clinic in Vancouver couldn't find many clues as to what she did to get through it and even improve her mental health. The only thing that was mentioned was that she said she made the right choices during her darkest hours. It could not be determined oh, what was meant in this context. Something tells me we're going to find Jane. Okay. 
symptoms. Uh, described a difficulty to control feelings of worry. She man she mentioned having sleep problems such as difficulty falling or staying asleep, restlessness, unsatisfying sleep. She also went on to describe a sleigh of fears, which include uh, what's that? Freaking necrophilia, claustrophobia, and and catalog phobia. I don't know how to say that. Treatment. Cognitive behavioral ther therapy had been prescribed in order to treat those underlying symptoms. This therapy was intended to teach the patient a different way of thinking, behaving, and reacting to the listed phobias. What about the phasmophobia? The therapy focuses on identifying and neutralizing unhelpful or dis uh, distorted thoughts. Exposure therapy focuses on confronting the underlying fears and phobias to help the patient engage in activities she has been avoiding. End of the therapy, the patient confirmed to having closed her eyes during a hallucination that she experienced two nights before her scheduled therapy. She claimed to have overcome her inner demons by the following night. Once she had made the right choices and applied what she's learned, although the phobias have not totally dissipated, they seem to have improved tremendously. The patient finished the therapy on uh, February 21st, 1929. There's a lot of reading here. I've read so much today, it's awful. The above cases of patients have been referenced in an article of insights from 12 cases of sleep paralysis. Okay, cool. Everything about sleep paralysis? Okay, so this is where we got the, the misinformation. Alright. Can I leave? I couldn't believe what I had just read. Sounds ominous, huh? Denial would probably be the best way to describe my reaction to this new information. Maybe those patients were just unlucky. It could be far from the norm. It was an old study after all. I thought about going out before sleeping to catch some fresh air and calm down. I couldn't possibly know what was about to happen that night. Okay, I needed to step out of the house for a minute before going to bed to get some air and calm down. The bottom left icon shows how stressed Thomas is feeling. Okay, you can reduce stress in various ways. So we got to reduce stress by stepping outside. Stress is, you can't see the stress meter. It's at 40% right now. Should I move me so you can see the stress meter? The moment I stepped outside, I felt the car. Think about what happened during the past few days. You'll be able to see a bottom left there. Why me? What did I do to deserve this? Should I not have trusted that website? I'm not really going insane, right? Feels wrong, kind of does, like backwards. Am I scaring y'all? Go back, you don't like it? Please go back. Feel. <laughs> Chat doesn't like me on this side. Then I began thinking about what the future might hold. Jane Mellowin, what did she do? What did she mean by right choices? So many questions, and yet so few answers. Little did I know, I was about to face my worst fears, and this night would be the last chance to turn it around. Chat, why are you freaking out about me being on the side? It's okay. It's okay. I'm making your stress go up. But we go. The reason we went outside is so we can get our stress level down. Time to go to sleep. No shower today. We're just not gonna shower. Uh oh. Uh, there, <laughs> I should probably take a shower before going to bed. It's <laughs> gonna say you dirty bastard. What's this music? Alright, time to sleep. What could go wrong?
the hell? Did we just get up? Oh no. Move myself back, don't worry. Just for you, chat. Just for you. Is that better? Are we better? Does that seem normal? This is gonna be scary. I can't see anything. Light switch. The power out. Doors locked. Doors locked. Things are tipped over. No notes yet. Under the bed, hell no. Glow stick, it was. Ooh, I don't have it in my inventory though. I don't have it. Where's the light stick though? It was here previously, but it's not there. Oh no. Oh, that tried. I tried to press that before. I swear. Oh, there's a key right here. Why is everything green? Chapter four of preparations. Okay, there we go. 140 minutes left until the crucial moment. We're getting there. Get back in bed. What the hell? Hello? As long as y'all stay in one spot and don't move, uh, we can get along. Placebo added inventory. What's that do? Reduces fear temporarily. Okay. Okay. Placebo will decrease your fear temporarily. Uh, every light source is different. You can test each uh, one in the room left of the table. Don't pick more than one. You won't need it on your way. So we got to pick one. You won't need the key card either. Leave it here. Take a leap of faith. It sounds like a choice. Sounds like if we. Glow stick's cool. Let's test it. Let's try... What about a lighter? Press L to use lighter. What, what do you want, chat? Glow stick, lighter? I guess we could. Should we leave the key card or take it? Sinister, how you doing? Leave it. Leave it here, take a leap of faith. It sounds like if we leave it, we'll get the good ending, right? Why would you leave it for a good end? There's gonna be multiple endings. Let's leave the key card. What does this say? Do we have to read all this? reason why you are in this place, you're here for the same reason as the patients you read, you read about. It's not just because you closed your eyes, it's 
the intention behind closing your eyes to brought you here. It has accompanied you throughout your life. If you can figure out what it is, you will come out stronger. If you can't figure it out, you will fall into darkness. A way out. Oh, why are you here? What's the reason you are with Zoe now? Oh, why, uh, why did you see the puppets? Why did Alice appear in your sleep paralysis? Find the answer and you'll find a way out of the darkness. The way ahead. You won't die here. Make sure you manage your fear properly, but don't let yourself be consumed by fear. Whatever lies on the way ahead of you, trust yourself to get through them. Do the opposite of closing your eyes. Regarding fear, if you act calm in a fearful situation, you're able to stay mentally calm as well. Stand still, and your fear will increase slowly. Walk in your fear will increase a bit faster. Run in your fear will increase rapidly. So we can't run. If we run, fear goes through the roof. If you're in a dangerous situation, your fear will start to increase. Get out, or I hope it passes. Choices, choices. Sometimes you will have limited control over sudden changes in the environment, in such case that they will increase your fear regardless. This is all about facing our fears, huh? Mental state. So that's what our brain looks like in the bottom left that you can't see because you made me move over here, chat. A high stress level means your vision or movement gets worse. If the stress level reaches the maximum, you will lose conscious control. Here we go. What about this door? Oh, crap. Okay, so these are the light sources. I like glow stick better. I like glow stick. All right, here we go. Before I'm going to write about what happened next, I want to tell you something about this place. Nothing happening right now made sense to me. My best guess was this is the darkest hour Jane Melloween was talking about. And one last thing, after I enter one of these doors, there would be no way back. So enter one of these doors, which one should it be? We're gonna save right here. We have more reading? How much reading is in this freaking- I hate reading. Pick up as many lights as possible, you never know what can happen. If you feel anxious, use the placebo, it will decrease your anxiety, and make sure you stay as close to a calm mind as possible, otherwise you might develop psychosis. Make sure you have the key card with you as well. It might save your neck. Very contradicting. Very contradicting. Which one do we believe? Advice. Uh, your fear indicates how dangerous the current situation is. Try to get out of a dangerous situation. And safety running will allow you to get out of the situation fast. Remember better. So, but it said when we run, our fear increases. Who's messing with us? Closing your eyes made the hallucinations go away, right? Proceed with care because maybe actual demons are haunting you. Try to avoid dangerous situations as much as possible to keep your mind calm. Try to get out safe. You never know what could harm you or give you a psychosis. Okay. This is- this game's trying to mess with us. Night in the warehouse. Oh, is that a plane ticket? You wanna go to the warehouse, the plane? Or wherever the hell that is. Should we take the key card or no? Oh no. I'm not taking the key card. I wanna go on the plane. I wanna go on the plane, you ready? Key card's still there. What? Oh. Alright, here we go! Going for a flight, what could go wrong? Oh my god. What? 
Flying is the safest form of travel. Takeoff and landing are statistically a little more dangerous. Unfortunately, rational arguments often don't help when you are very afraid of something. And they certainly didn't help with this flight. Locked in. The captain has turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Make sure all seats are in the upright position and trays are put away before we take off. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened and the seatbelt light is on. There are six exits on this plane. Four doors, two on each side, and two window exits located over the wing. All exits are clearly marked with an exit sign. Please take a moment to find an exit closest to you. There are six exits on this plane. Four doors, two on each side, and two window exits located over the wing. All exits are clearly marked with an exit sign. What do we do? Please take a moment to find an exit closest to you. Hello? Hello? Can't sit down. You said you can use the toilet early. Did it say that? Bro. Oh, there we go. I feel great now. There we go. All right. Well. Wash your hands. My fear is going up. My fear is going up. I'm going to pass out. I'm going to pass out. We're at 60%. 70 percent. Oh no, I'm gonna pass out literally right here. It's very dark. Hello? Well, I don't know exactly how long I passed out. I suddenly felt like throwing up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain, and I'd like to welcome you aboard Flight 226. I'm going to throw up now. Oh, no. We'll be a little over two hours en route. We're currently cruising at an altitude of 35,000 <coughs> feet. If you would like to take off... Alright, fears down. Then I noticed a weird smell. I had to find out where it was coming from. Oh no! Oh no! I noticed some of the lights uh, were of a higher intensity than others. What? What lights? Huh? 
Okay. I guess that light. Oh, here we go. More reading, dear lord. It said if you run it for goes up, yeah, that's true. Plane's on fire. The plane is packed. The old man takes a seat right beside me. He had the appearance of a confident man. I'm looking out the window, watching the trees get smaller, and the house is becoming tinier by the second. Why are you going to Paris? The man asks. Vacation, what about you? I said, visiting my uh, granddaughter or something, and his voice made me turn. His hands are gripping the armrest, a sweet uh, sweat clearly visible on his shirt and forehead. He looks at me. I'm scared of flying, he answers to my obvious glances. Why? Scared, I asked his answer. I don't know. I just am. Something here. What's this? Oh, dear lord. Looks like a plane crash. Maybe something here, yes. For hours, one dumb movie and two crossword puzzles later. Uh, our plastic meals were served. The man seemed a bit calmer. I started digging into the honest to God underwhelming taste uh, tasting food. It is in line with expectations, though. Why do you fly at all, then, if you uh, know that you will get this scared, I asked. Because I can't let fear dictate my actions. If I want to see my granddaughter, he answered. Noble cause. Plane ticket. Step plane? Bro? Trying to read. As we approached landing, the man came be, uh, more visibly nervous again. Sweat was now covering his entire forehead, and he held the armrest of his clinging to them with his de uh, dear life. He probably. Okay, bye. Pilot, let me in, let me in. Um, is it bugged? Are we bugged? Yeah. Do have any updates? No? What do we have to do? Oh, what's this? Wait, what the hell? Wait, what? What's happening? Ladies and gentlemen, as we start our descent, please make sure your seat backs and tray tables so dead.
we were so dead. Not patient enough for this crash landing. United one three five, turn right heading zero six zero. Descend and maintain five thousand. Slow to two two zero knots. I mean, this, this door was open up here. smoke coming out of the bathroom maybe let's check it let's see let's see what's going on in there it was probably from that flagrant piss I took earlier Should we just sit back down, maybe? Nothing else to interact with, unless there's something small and random we can do. Oh my god. Are we safe? It's a teleport into safety. Oh no. 10, 
that portal. I was looking for my seatbelt. I was ready to <laughs> buckle up. Not the end? What? Bro, what's that? <laughs> Sounds like we're underwater. That is water. Are we? No, wait. Bro. Can I pay? Oh my god, this is terrifying. Um open. Wait, what? We can just get off the plane now? Wait, what is this? Good. Fear is reducing drastically. Let's go. Was that the cheek clapper 9000? I think so. Alright, so what's this now? Now we have only two doors left. So we went from three doors on this side to two. Night in the warehouse. What could go wrong? Let's go. Let's go. Do you remember the horror movie I referred to earlier? Well, here we are now. Well, I know this place. The only exit is at the end of this corridor. I have to get get there. Oh crap! A night in the warehouse from the director of The Lost Ghost. The game is a paid actor? It's just at the end of the corridor. Maybe if we just go straight, it'll be fine. Can we not enter? I will go this way. I want to do that. Yo, what is this? Let's pop the VHS tape in. Here we go.
Wait, it's not. It's not playing. Ah, wait. Hold on. Why can't I put it in? Insert, there we go. Alright, what could go wrong? What's this? We play? Hello? Girl, look at that body. Oh my god. It's rewinding. Chat, close what door? What are you worried about? This door? Feel safe now? Let's play that again. Okay, I wanna I guess that's what we're trying to avoid. Hey, more reading! More reading! Who doesn't love that? There's paragraphs and paragraphs of reading. In 91, our researchers conducted a series of experiments to explore the effect of the uncanny valley on the human psych psyche. The experiments were conducted with humanoid puppets. There was, a sh there was strong evidence the puppets had an uneasy effect on the test subjects. However, evidence seems to indicate the puppets did not look human enough for them to trigger the uncanny valley effect. Rather, the design in and of itself was frightening uh, the test subjects. This was determined by conducting gross experiments with very well-known cases that triggered the uncanny valley. So the uncanny valley effect is when something creeps you out because it looks human, but you know it's not human. That's the uncanny valley. It has to look, I believe, I believe, right? It has to look like human enough. But you have to also understand it's not human. What's this? Did not close the door. Yeah, I did actually. Hello? Oh crap! The freaking door frame scared me. Was this dark? can't go that way. There's an arrow, yes, but we can't open the door. This music is so freaking creepy, man. Code. Questions? Uh, no, no. Do you try to avoid mistakes? Yes. No. Uh, no. Do you understand or why you need to answer these questions? Yes. 7155. Don't forget. So, uh, so this is where we get the code. 7155. But this code shouldn't open that door, right? Okay, so that's not what we want the code for. <clears throat> Bro. Hello? 
Hello, can I help you? There's gonna be something around one of these corners. There's gonna be something around one of these corners for sure. Oh my god. Get that tape. The Uncanny Valley Initiative number two. During the test, the researcher stumbled upon an eye-opening discovery. It was noticed that it wasn't just the visual aspect that could trigger the Uncanny Valley effect. The puppet's behavior contributed a lot to the uneasiness of the test subjects. At the time, the behavior of the puppets was controlled by scientists with a remote. After this discovery, we decided to improve the development of the puppets. We wanted to infuse them with more authentic uh, human behavior. In theory, this would make their behavior more human. The discrepancy between the behavior and the visual aspect of the puppet would ideally make them trigger the Uncanny Valley effect uh, more reliably. These freaking torture scientists, man. All right, let's go. Um, I'm gonna beat you to the exit! Run! Oh crap, there's nowhere to go. And some of those are missing. Some of those dolls are missing. There's one right there. Ashley Dawn with the five month, thank you so much. I have to turn off the electricity to shut down the alarm and get another code for the next door. What's in here? Oh my god. Shut down the power though, then how do I Where's the power shut off? Was that here? How do, do I need another VCR? Tape two. How do I insert you? Like, what the hell? Like, how do I? Can we just press a button and put the freaking tape in? Left mouse click, how though? So like, look, I go... Okay, there's no option. Before where it says switch, it said insert. I don't know what the difference is. So we're switching. This is like... Uh, okay, the thing is there. Use, use... What the hell? Maybe I'll just freaking... Do you consider sleep paralysis an inconvenience? Uh, no. We'll just give them the right answer.
8482 chat Oh there we go. You have to right click. Here we go. Cape two. Eight four eight two. Let's probably turn this on, huh? Is that the really uncanny valley one? A four A two, let's go. And that's for... At the end down here. Camroid in the equipment? Wait, where? Huh? Where we put the code? Where we put A forty two? Can't go that way. This way, maybe. Is it opening? Oh, uh, we have to turn the power off to get here? Oh no. Oh no. Is there one out here? Oh, here we go, here we go. Close to
I'm at 85%. Sanity's at like 87. I already took one of the pills, so I don't want to take the other one. Don't you move. Don't you move, friend. You didn't get a Twitch notification today? A lot of people didn't because we streamed twice. We did the Phasmophobia update early today. And now we're doing this new game right now. Do they move when you're not looking? Only that one time. Yo, can we get out of here with 98% sanity? We're about to pass out. We're literally about to pass out of the door. Yeah, Twitch only enables notifications once every four hours. So, because we did, we got done the stream and then went live again before that four-hour window was... Um, I guess eclipsed. They didn't send the notification the second time. My anxiety is becoming worse. Where the hell am I? How do I use my letter? Let's see. Oh, that's right. We can close eyes. We gotta use these things for our advantage. Lighter is out. That's right. Oh, we did. We, we, all we had to do is press G. Oh, we didn't have to go through inventory. What the hell's wrong with me? I can't move. I can't move. What the hell? Close eyes? Should I close the eyes? Should I close them? Oh crap. Oh crap. I'm pressing C. We have sleep paralysis, remember? Dude, who farted? What? I closed my eyes. Feel like I can move again? See, we beat the game. It's so quiet now. We win. I thought I should maybe check out this room. Good idea. More reading. You're almost out of this place. Don't go back. The door will close behind you and you don't know what is going to happen afterwards. I'll say. Go through that door. Sometimes uh, you have to take a step back uh, to really move forward. So do I go through the door or do I not? Well, give me a chance to assess the situation. What the hell? Yo, if that was a real door in a warehouse, like seven people would die every day. I swear. Jesus. What was it, A482? No? <laughs> oh, we're back here. Oh, we're back here. All right, let's watch the tape. Let's watch tape three. And we'll get our code here.
We'll get our code from the computer. Okay. Do you like to have a sleep paralysis? Yes. Give me more. Are you confident you will make it out without negative consequences? Absolutely not. Uh, do you uh, think you play it too safe sometimes? Uh, yes or no? No. Do you consider all of this happening might not be a coincidence? Yes. Can you stop with the music so I can answer the question? Jesus. Are you sure you don't mind dying in this place? Yes. Do you think that it was a good idea to expose yourself? Expose myself? That's a crime! I didn't do that! Uh, to these questions for the third time. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Sorry, I read the question wrong. Thank you for coming back. The door code is 7413. Your next task is to die?! We're gonna watch that third tape that it warned us not to watch. We're gonna watch it. What was it? 7413? Is that what it was? Okay. Can you give me my tape back? No? Okay. No. No, give me the tape back. There we go. Tape three, let's go. Insert. Let's watch. I love these movies. Oh, we gotta press play. What the? God damn it. This is the most high maintenance VCR ever. Well, that sucks. This is the one that's gonna trigger our fears. We're not supposed to watch this. for the gift sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. 7413. This is where it happens. Right down here. This is where it happens in the video. Right at the end of this hall. That, that was the paranormal. That was a ghost. Holy hell, we got real evidence. I guess we go to the end of this hall here. Here we go. What could go wrong? We're back here. Chat, we're back here. Let's go. All right, we got to, got to go to the last the last warehouse, or the last uh, destination. I don't know what this is. What is this? 
Photo of... That was the girl that was in our sleep paralysis dream. Alice, yes. Who's ready for Alice? There's something about abusive people. Sometimes it's very subtle. Sometimes it's an eruption. Especially if they don't get their way. They know how much they can push you before you leave them. I was about to meet that someone I mentioned earlier. You can't go in here? Is this bugged? Oh, uh, it's a freaking door with a glass window! Why am I so stupid?! What the hell? Why would you do that to me? I'm, I'm banging my forehead off the glass. <laughs> was that not like the clearest glass? Like how, how was I supposed to know, dude? I was like, yeah, okay, we're, we can go in the room, right? We can't, yeah, we look like we're, why, like what is this, an invisible wall? Glass door. I swear, this dev needs to fix this game. I'm trying to go into this room and walk around, but uh, there's an invisible barrier here. The game is bugged. I paid $10 for this. I can't believe I can't get into the freaking room. <sighs> oh, shit. Hello? It's been a while, my love. I miss you so much. And I know you are confused. But don't worry, my love. It all will make sense. Looks like a gothic mermaid. You must do something for me first. Where is this going? Sit down. Promise you're going to listen to me. And I'll help you get out of here. Or do you want to end up with this psychosis? Okay, but first, does this cost extra? Why are you- why is it all dark now? Well done. I was hoping you would do the right thing for once. If you go down into the basement and find the big picture of yourself in that disgusting zone, bring it here, and I'll help you get ahead. She didn't say Zoe, she said Zelton. What? Alice told me to get a picture of Zoe and me, Zoe and I, and uh, she will help me escape. I wondered if there were other other options. A picture of Zoe. Hello? Well, let's see if we can go out this way. Can we just leave? We just looks like we're st okay. Looks like anything we do has to go through the basement. Can I catch him out the window. Hello. Hello. Okay, we added the drawing. Bizarre drawing. What's the bizarre drawing? It looks like a drawing of a maze and there are two keys. So I am right there. Okay. Is this the maze? Text with Alice. Babe, I have plans for the week, uh, for the weekend that I can't get out of. Why well, you never told me this? I thought you would come to the parade with me tomorrow. I did tell you this last week. Don't you remember? Wow, I thought you were kidding. So I'm supposed to cancel my plans because yours are so much more important. So much more important. 
I told Jerry and Brett like one month ago that we would do this together. Fine, period. Uh, people in the chat, what does that fine period actually mean? That's like a good thing, right? That's a positive vibe when you send that in a text message. <laughs> Just to find the picture of yourself and Zoe, do as Alice says and don't anger her. Okay, that's that's one take. What's the other take? Find the picture of yourself and Zoe. Repl replace Alice's picture. Face her wrath regardless of the consequences. Okay. What were we? Okay, we added a drawing. What's that? Maybe this is a hint for how I can progress. So it looks like we need the to touch the torch. Wait, what? Oh crap. Okay, so this, that's what we need to do. Okay, hold on. We can light torches. So the the torch by the stairs needs to be out. But those two doors look the same. Blow it off and turn it. One needs to be tilted. This one. Holy hell! Is this the maze? What the? Holy shit. What's here, though? <laughs> this is the maze. This is the maze. One of the keys is, like, way back. Way back here. Probably... Right here. Wait, what? What's that do? Yeah, there's a key right here. Okay. And the other key is on the other side. However the hell we can get over there. I think we take this route, actually. Yeah, right here. What's this? Phone? Ooh, more text message drama. Can we meet tomorrow and talk about our holidays this summer? I'm busy right now. All right, let's talk later then. Aren't you going to apologize? What for? Um, uh, are you really that clueless? And never have a, one of my dumb exes ever been as clueless as you are now. You know what? Forget about it. You'll come back to me once you figured it out. Thank you. If you're talking about the weekend with Jerry and Brett, I already told you we planned this like a month ago. Where's the key? Unless it's not here. Is it here? Or is it further over here? What the hell is this? Uh, let's look at the map. A uh, key one is like Was that a key? The key should be in this room, right? Let's see. I think the key was the map.
Because if we go over here, then it's all the way to the back. Yeah, this is literally the room where the key is. But the, the key isn't, uh... So I guess one key, one map, okay. Now we gotta figure out how to get the hell out of here. You hear growling? Don't worry about that. Nothing to worry, nothing to see here. That was growling! Wow! Two keys. I, I mean, I still don't know what this room's for. What the hell is this room for? Do we get an ending uh, if we just go give her this right now? We could try that. What could go wrong? I don't think we have much of a choice now. Look close on the map, man. For what? Uh, and there are two keys. Yeah, I looked exactly where the key was. I was in that room, and it was a map. And I looked on the table, there was no key. Right in that exact spot where the key is on the bottom part? That's where we found the map. Or the uh, picture. Not the map, the picture. And then I, I scanned that table, like, really hard. There's no key there. another room there's another room no it wasn't I was in that room because I tracked it I tracked so hold on let's let's move it so that it's the way that we were yeah cuz I went I went out of that room the only exit out of that key room and I looked and I found the back wall the back wall happened to be right there. That was exactly the room we were in. So that that key on the left side there, that was that was the picture. Look closer on the what am I missing? On the map that's close how do I look closer? With the gold door there? The the hidden door? That doesn't lead anywhere. That leads from one place we were to another place we were. Do you see the table and the key? I see a key on a table, yes. We're gonna go back down and... Just to confirm. Which is the table? Flip the table? Can we flip the table? Can we flip the table out of pure rage? table. All I hear is growling. I don't see a key.
drawn. It's another room. No, this is the room. The table with candle. Wait, what? So that is the room we're in right now. We are in the room with that key. Where the key was, and that's where the drawing was. It's not this one. We got the other key. I mean, we already got that one. From Torchware. No, it's not. I feel like you're trolling. Because we are in... We are in that room. So we make a right out of here, we make a left, and then we should be staring at the back wall. So look, we make a right, make a left. Hey, look, we're staring at the back wall. With uh, two, uh, two options to go right. Boom and boom. Yep. Well, three options to go right. So yeah, this is, this is the exact room. That's the exact room. In the center? What about in the center? Sparkly in the center? I believe that's just like glue or something. Doesn't do anything. The torch, there's no torch. But that, like, that growling, I think that's her. And the secret, the secret wall would be like, what, like... Oh my god, it's so close. That secret wall... Would be... I think... Right here. That just leads us from one place we were to another. So that doesn't really do anything for us. Alright, let's go. Let's just go uh, talk to the girl and see what happens. Here we go. Well, now I'm dead. We're well, not dead, but. We're missing something now. We could have just gone up to the top there, probably, and had an ending. Yeah, just made a shortcut, yeah. Let's see where this takes us. If you're passing out for God knows how long I uh, felt my anxiety, anxiety becoming worse, interesting. Interesting. Can't see. Alright, let's go up. Was the key upstairs in the locked door? Where was that locked door? Once we get in here. Look at the detail! This detail is literally outrageous. I love this. What the hell? To jump or not to jump? To pull lever or not to pull lever? Hello? Do we pull the lever or do we jump? What should we do, chat? Definitely pull lever and jump. YOLO. Crap. Did I mention I can make your life hell for not listening to me? What happens now is your own fault. Good luck. Like I can't climb up here. Like I actually wouldn't be able to climb. I'm literally, I'm literally looking. I could totally climb up there. Okay, 
Okay. Oh my god, flashing lights. This is literally a prison. Maybe the dude has no provide strength. Definitely adrenaline though, that'll get him up there. What's that do? Hate. It looks like there's a chapter I just needed to find the lever to open it, probably right here. Or hate. This one should be unlocked, then, right? We go. Okay, what the hell? What's this? Candle's dead. That's sad. Um, hello? I seriously can't do this anymore, Alice. Can we talk tomorrow? Alice, oh, what about, babe? Uh, what is there to talk about? Do you expect me to just always take it when you ignore me? Ignore you! You told me you didn't want me to text you all the time. Sometimes I feel like it would be better for us if we just took a break from each other. Uh, for both of Sanity, I think I'm going to book a hotel this weekend. Yes, because you were annoying me and then you suddenly stopped writing me. Are you suggesting we break up? Uh, you know what? I think that would be a terrific idea. I did just cheat on you with that hottie Logan from work. I'm looking forward to more. Ha! What the hell? This is so toxic, dude. If I can find the five books that's shown in this picture, I might be able to open a secret door. The five, okay, so. Huh? Five books. Okay, I see the door. Where's the books? What the hell? That looked nothing like the books in the picture. Let's just go on record right now and say that that looked nothing like the books in the picture. They have like a, a black, yellow, striped freaking spine. This is just pure red. It's a, it's a tarp. Rip. Oh, what the hell is this?
What the? No, stop it. Stop that. Oh my god. Why are they following me? Okay. Made it back. We made it back, fam. <laughs> oh my god. I just died. I missed it on the ground. Is that important? Empty. This is literally empty paper. Back through the portal to read the note on the ground. Is there a portal? If it's empty paper, we could go this way. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, uh, Dread. What if you were free from all the terror? What if there was nothing for you to, to contrast? What if there was no way out? Dread or fear? Some call it the back rooms. Emptiness. Where's your key card? Chat. Chat. Oh no. We just no clipped. We just no clipped into the freaking back rooms. No. Glow stick, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a glow stick. I feel like this is the same warehouse layout as that warehouse map where the mannequins were. That's literally what this is. Yeah, we're in the Uncanny Valley back rooms. We can actually move. Wait, we can actually move. I, th I thought it was loading. Where the hell are we? Where the hell are we? Where the hell are we? It's like Christmas music. It's like Little Drummer Bush. Go to the living room. Can't go in? Is this a door? We can't go back to sleep and wake up like normal because there's no freaking key card chat! I was stuck. Was this it? Was this the end because I didn't bring the key card? No, there's another way. There's gotta be another way. Enough so our brain becomes afraid. 
So Bush, what was around thousands of years ago that we're still afraid of that looked just like us? Um... Nails here? No. Pictures upstairs tell you where to put the pics. Okay, so living room. But we don't have a living room in this house right now. But the staircase, we can get two pictures in. The horse in the sky. Horse at the base. Sky goes over here. Horse goes at the bottom. Which means this one. I think this is the last one. Oh crap, what? in that room? What? Where's it? Wait, where's the living room? Is this the living room? This is the living room, right? <laughs> oh my god. I got it. Hello? We're in the front rooms now? Here we go. Here we go. Close your eyes. Chapter 9, the finale. This has been really fun. This is a really good game. Crucial moment imminent. Uh-oh. Hype train is closed. Let's go. We got a freaking hype train. If you're getting my bearings, I recognize a familiar environment. Our house should be close by. Oh, this is the trail. Yeah, this is the trail up to the house. Continuing the path in the direction of the moon should lead me back to the house. Is this a is that a glow stick on the ground? Yeah, it was left there, right? Hamburger with the gift sub. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. In the direction of the moon. Where the hell is the moon? Let's go. We've made it, chat. Punch you said the hamburglar. No. I like how that was right in B with the song. Puffer fish out of nowhere. What if our whole life is a lie? We don't have a house here. We just live in the woods. It's too safe. Uh, 10 is gonna jinx us, chat. 10 is gonna jinx us. Towards the moon. Where's the moon now? Why is the moon no longer visible? Which way is the moon?
Bro, I saw the moon, I swear, and now I can't see it. It's that way, okay. It's that way. This is my sprint, by the way. What up, Jack? How you doing, bro? Good to see you. Been a long time. Why is it so dead quiet now? Sounds like we're stepping on grapes to make wine or something. This is the exact pace at which October tries to make biscuits. Oh, go to, go to sleep. Let's go. This has to be the end. has to be the end. Oh, sleep paralysis. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we good? Ow! Can't move my body. Oh no, the doorbell's ringing. We have sleep paralysis. We don't close our eyes this time, or do we close our eyes? Oh shit. This is what sleep paralysis is like, apparently. I can't move. I can't leave the bed. What? God, they're everywhere. Yo, Redneck, thank you for the TikTok live subscription. I appreciate you. Yo, we got the mannequin? No? Stay back. Stay back, I say. Oh, shit. I can't take it. I, I closed the eyes. No, I didn't do that. Oh no, we closed our eyes, what the hell? It's over or is it? Bro, is it over? It's over. This was the last sleep paralysis I had to suffer. I didn't want to sleep anymore though. Unfortunately, I also knew there was no way around sleep. I'm pressing tab, but it's not checking my diary. There we go. Photo wave of fatigue wash over me and I had to sleep. Okay. Okay. Saving my game. Decided to pick up my diary and a pen to start writing about what took place in the latest few days at the dinner table. Okay, let's go. Dinner table is. It's not here, is it? 
Oh wait, wasn't my diary somewhere else? I had a diary with a diary. I remember that I, I could I saw my diary somewhere in front of the couch. Is that it? No. Diaries upstairs in the bedroom. There we go. Even though I've had it in my inventory the entire freaking freaking game. You kidding me? Was this the exorcist? Today is Saturday, and here I am. This is my story. I experienced Redneck, let's go. Good to see you. This night. Thank you for that. Just like Jane, up. Malouin, and all the other patients. Was it just a bad nightmare? I don't know. It's a banger. It didn't feel like one. Was it real? I hope not. I only know it's finally over. I didn't want to close my eyes last night. I don't know why I did it. It was too terrifying. I couldn't take it any longer. Maybe I'm not who I'm supposed to be. Maybe I should have done things differently. Maybe this is what happened to the other patients as well. I didn't have any hallucinations yet. And that was the definition of a psychosis. I haven't written this yet. But I couldn't shake off the feeling that something has been watching me since I woke up today. Maybe I do have psychosis. Is this what it feels like? Is this how it ends? I wrote this just in case I start losing my mind. So other people can learn from my mistakes. Only time will tell. I just hope everything is going to be alright. I just hope I can put this chapter of my life to rest. Once and for all. Thomas. It's not over. I thought for sure that'd be the end.